So somebody in my comment section asked for a white gaming PC build, and I am here to deliver. But we've done all white gaming PCs before. So we're gonna spice things up today. So people really love these white gaming PC builds and I really can't blame them. I mean, my last computer was an all white system and my new current PC is a mixture of white and black. And there's just something so clean and bright about a white gaming PC. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're flipping computers for profit like we do here, they sell way faster. I mean, even if you are looking at different pieces of hardware, if you find a graphics card that you like, if you find the white equivalent to that exact same graphics card, there is a strong possibility that the white graphics card is more expensive. And that's because there's a higher demand for them. And people will pay more for that card. Now, simply because somebody did ask me to build this computer today, we are going to kick it up a notch and we're gonna try and build something that is truly unique. And that's gonna make whoever buys this computer from me feel like they are the only one in the world who has that type of system. Now, because this computer is part of the Build Up Challenge, the idea is to make sure that the total cost to build this PC remains as low as we can without compromising on the aesthetics of the PC. And I believe that with the hardware I have selected and found deals on, we are in store for just something that is truly mind-blowing, and I can't wait to put this thing together. So. Let's do it.
So I have got to know what you guys think of this build because I'm going to be honest with you, I think that this is my new favorite build on the channel. It just came together so well with the blue and everything matching and I mean even the AIO here, the tubes that connect to the radiator and the pump head, even those match the build and I didn't do that. This thing came like that. So I mean. Everything just came together so well. And I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think that this is the best build that we've put together on the channel? Or are one of the other builds your personal favorite? Now, before we get into the gameplay footage from this system, as well as cover the total cost of what it took to build this beautiful thing right here, I did need to let any new viewers know that on this series, we build and sell gaming PCs so that we can save up the profits to eventually get to the point where we can build a top tier computer. And in this season of the Build Up Challenge, we are saving up to build an editing PC that is hopefully going to be unlike anything that you have ever seen. So now is the time to subscribe if you are enjoying the content. I put out a brand new build every week and I would love it if you followed along. So in case you missed it from the build montage, it is a Intel i5 10400 CPU system with a 12 gig 3060 graphics card. It has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM and it's all tucked onto a Z590 Pro AX motherboard, and it all came together extremely well, especially that graphics card. Now, it did take me two full days to make sure this graphics card came out looking just as good as it does, and I think that you'll agree that it definitely matches the build really well. Now, the 360 millimeter AIO is definitely overkill for a 10400 CPU, and it's really overkill to have it running a push-pull configuration. But this Musetex case is the K2, and it comes with three included fans in the system. So I just had these three fans sitting around, and it would fit a push-pull co configuration. So I figure, throw them in there. They were free anyways with the case. Now, the design of this PC is definitely not disappointing, and neither is the gameplay, because in God of War, at an ultra preset, we were able to get 77 FPS on average. Sliding over into Hogwarts Legacy, with a high preset, we are getting a beautiful 66 average FPS. Chugging right along over to Gotham City, where in Gotham Knights, we were getting an average of 97 FPS at a max preset. And since everybody loves this game so much right now, I played Helldivers at its max preset, and this system was able to push out an average of 65 FPS. So before I go ahead and I cover the total cost of what it took to build this system right here, I did want to go over where we stand in total funds because it's getting a little dicey. Now, at the end of last week's episode, we had only $529 left in our total bank. And spoiler alert, this costs more than $529. Now, luckily, we were able to sell the case and the liquid cooling supplies from the build that we did in episode two of this season. We were able to sell each one, the case and the water supply separately for $80 each. So that is going to bring our grand total back up to $689. And that's cutting it real close for this build right here. 
Now, as far as the total build cost is concerned for this system, I was able to find deals on the motherboard, the CPU, and the graphics card. Now, the motherboard that is inside of here, I was able to pick that up for $80 on Facebook Marketplace. Now, $80 is usually on the higher side of what I would pay for a motherboard, but seeing as how this is a really nice motherboard, and when you look online for them, they're selling for around $290 now. So I'd say that's a pretty decent deal, and it appeared to be brand new when I got it. It looked like it had never been used Ever. Now, the CPU inside of here, I actually got a really good deal on. I was able to pick that CPU up for $60, and that's pretty much unheard of for a 10th generation Intel processor. Now, the graphics card in here is probably my best score at $170 for this triple fan 3060 right here, and all of the rest of the stuff inside of this is brand new, which brings the total build cost to put this entire system to $677. Now that's gonna leave our total bank value suffering pretty hard with only $12 left in it. Now, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think anybody on Facebook Marketplace is gonna sell me their gaming PC for $12. But luckily, I do have two computers for sale now. That beastly AM5 build that we did last week that is listed for $1,200 and this gorgeous thing right here, which I'm gonna list for 900. Now 900 is definitely a very high price for this system, but if I can get 800 for it, I'll be happy with that. And once these computers do sell, we will be back up to $2,000. So let's hope they sell so that we can have an episode next week. Oh my God, I almost forgot to say thank you to one individual subscriber. His name is Rodney and he is the first person to join the PC Rehab membership program. Now when you start YouTube, they give you the option to create like a membership tier list and you get like special perks and things like that if you join in a membership. So I finally got a member and I wanted to personally thank Rodney for joining in. It really means a whole lot to me. and. Hopefully in the future, we'll get some more members. But until those members do come in, I did want to say that no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. And I'm gonna see you right here for the next episode.